kudos to Uber. They fixed something and you got to give credit where credit is due. I'll explain it. Hi, my name is Levi, and this is the Tip You in the App Daily Drive. Today's Daily Drive is brought to you by Tonquin. With Tonquin, you don't have to bicker back and forth to get what you want. It's a great platform. They're good people. Check them out. Today's Daily Drive is also brought to you by Rideshare.tax. 2025 taxes are right around the corner. Hurry up started on them. And the Daily Drive is also brought to you by Voom Rideshare Insurance. Okay, so a couple days ago, I was going to cash out. You know, here in New York, I get to cash out every day for free. I know. So I guess that's one good thing that came out of that settlement with the state of New York. So I was cashing out and I had like $77 more in my account I was like, where'd the $77 come from? So I had to scroll through and I got $77 for Uber Eats payout. I just, I don't know. I haven't done Uber Eats in like four months. So I was like, whoa, what is this? And then it hit me. That 77 sounded familiar. So I went back and I did a little bit of math. And I'm going to show you where that money came from. Watch. So last week I said that, you know, because of New York state, I was entitled to sick leave. And it's based upon a rate of the minimum of being 2678 or 2639, I think. And then, but it's based on your active time. And so I made a claim and they only paid me $105 and they did this twice. So $211 is what they ended up paying me. But going back and trying to calculate what I think my active time earnings were, I made this video and I said, this, none of this just seemed right. And I said my active time earnings per hour without promotions or chips was like thirty-eight ninety-two, And so I was trying to think, I think they owe me money. So I made this claim right here, the max owed. They paid me $211.12, but I think maybe they owe me upwards of $398. So let's take a look at it here. First and foremost, when I went into my Uber app. Okay, so when I went into my Uber app, this is what I saw just the other day. Thirty-six dollars and eight cents is now what they owe me. So instead of the twenty-six dollars, with which they said before the minimum, now they've recalculated it. So okay, so thirty-six dollars and eight cents is the minimum, and it's eight hours, right? So it's a minimum, or I guess my payment per hour, and this is the number of hours that I claimed. So total due equals this, right? times this is 288 what they owe me, uh, but they paid me, right? Equals, they paid me 211. So the balance, this minus, minus this, 77.52. And lo and behold, that's what they paid me. Let me show it to you. It goes right here, right there. Look at that, 77.44. So yeah, it's right. 7752, 7744, whatever. It's it's pretty close. So there you go. Thank you, Uber, for fixing this. It's it's still not perfect. I, I don't know what my active time is. I know there's like a way to calculate it. Somebody showed me how to go through the app and calculate it. But I know you could just show that time right there on the homepage. What is my active time? I don't want to have to fumble through every single ride or try to calculate it based upon another thing. Just, just give me the active time. And also you didn't even explain it to me. I just literally happened to see $77 from Uber Eats show up into my account. Obviously it's not Uber Eats. It's payment for back due sick time that I claimed. So it's not perfect, but the money is the most important part and they paid it to me. (laughs) That's, that's good. I want to thank Sergio. I, I believe he reached out to Uber. He saw my video. So Sergio over at the Rideshare Guy and the Show Me the Money Club, Sergio, Chris, Harry, all everybody, thank you so much. But Sergio, thank you for pushing that forward. And I got so much feedback from other riders saying that they had already filed claims with New York State. So the fix is in. That's good. And shout out to Lyft. By the way, every single driver in my market says the minute they make that claim with Lyft, they get the exact right amount. They get it instantaneously. With Uber, I have to wait like two days. So it's 
good that I got the money. It's good that Uber's paying attention and listening and fixing things. Uber should probably tell me why they paid me $77, not make me try to like solve it. And thankfully I have the spreadsheets, but how many other drivers don't have the, the data that I had? Also, they told me they paid me from Uber Eats, which, which makes no sense. And yeah, active time, show me the active time, help me calculate this. I want to help Uber make money. And uh, I know that sounds odd. It sounds weird. That's not how a lot of other drivers think, but I know if Uber makes money, then I get to make money and I want to provide the passengers a really good service. And I think this can be a mutually beneficial thing for everybody if Uber sharpened up their game a little bit. And I know it's tough. You, you've got multiple countries and 50 states, and but you've got umpteen thousand employees, right? Nobody said you had to make this as complicated as you did, but you decided to make this as complicated as you did. You still need to pay the drivers because without us, you don't have a business. You just don't have a business. Maybe one day in the future, there'll be autonomous cars, but they're not here today. You need us. And we kind of don't really need you. There's Lyft. There's other things we can all do with our time. So there you go. Thank you, Uber, for fixing it. Do better. I'm cheering for you, Uber. I'm cheering for you. And by the way, all the drivers, I'm cheering for you too. Please be well, be safe. Bye.